All right, guys, we are continuing on with our uh, lessons on Rome. Today, we are going to be talking about the Roman gods and goddesses, uh, just basically Roman religion. Um, we are going to be focusing on the mythology part of Rome, um, not getting into Christianity because we already talked about that with uh, our um, monotheistic world religions, but Christianity did take the place of all of these beliefs um, once uh Jesus is crucified and rose from the dead and his apostles spread that message out. Um, Rome became the center of Christianity and it plays a significant part in the story of Jesus. But we're not going to be focusing on that. We're going to be focusing on their beliefs of all the gods and goddesses. So they believed in a pantheon, which is a group of many gods, which formed Roman religion. Now, if you haven't gotten this by yet, by now, uh, Greece was a major, major, huge, ginormous influence on Rome, especially when it comes to um, their their beliefs, their beliefs in their gods. Most ancient Romans worshipped many gods and goddesses, which makes them polytheistic, and they believed that spirits lived in trees and rivers. Uh, the Romans adopted the Greek gods, so they believed in all those gods, Hera, Zeus, Poseidon. However, they changed all their names, so they were more, you know, Roman. Um, so, for example, Jupiter is Zeus. He's basically the same, same god, but they changed his name to Zeus. Uh, Aphrodite becomes uh, Venus. And Neptune becomes uh, becomes Poseidon. You know, you're going to be writing all these down. The important gods and goddesses were honored in temples, such as that one. Um, life was controlled by the gods. So, like every civilization we studied, they believe that in order to make sure bad things don't happen, they got to keep their gods happy. Uh, the pantheon grew to include the gods of people the Romans conquered. So they added their gods and goddesses to their beliefs. Later, the Romans worshipped their rulers as gods. And Romans worshipped their gods almost anywhere. But almost every home had some kind of shrine where offerings were made to their gods. Again, to keep them happy. If you wanted good things to happen to you, you got to pray to that god or goddess. You know, whatever. Priests managed temples for the most important gods and performed rituals. Back here, you have... Um, a calendar from ancient Rome and you can see some words the same September October November mm -hmm. yeah we get that from the Romans so the Roman calendar had many religious festivals on it um, they're on here I can't read them to you so I'm sorry I can't tell you what they are but they were uh, very important the government funded many of them to make sure the gods helped and protected the Romans these festivals included all different kinds of things like parades, feasts, music, dance, theater, sports, all in order to keep their gods happy. This is a picture of which would be Jupiter or better well known as Zeus. I don't know why this keeps moving every time I try to. There we go. Um, the Roman gods had human traits that often showed uh, what qualities the Romans valued. The Romans were very practical and wanted to do great things. The Greeks felt like we know beauty, grace, and elegance were important, which is why it showed up in so many of their statues. But that isn't necessarily what the Romans valued. The Romans um, did not value as much with the beauty and the grace. They thought discipline and strength and loyalty were the most important. So that's what showed up in their artwork. This is another view of uh, the forum and pieces of a temple that's left. The Romans respected people who acted with great consideration, determination, and energy. That was what was important to Romans. The Romans respected people who act. Again, I did the same thing. Mm -hmm. I repeated it twice. Whatever. I'll figure it out. These characteristics. I thought I did it again. <laughs> I thought I put it three times. I didn't. These characteristics helped the Roman Republic make great achievements in war, politics, law, trade, and engineering. All right, we are going to take notes. You're going to write down 
the gods and their Greek counterparts and what they're the gods and goddesses of, just some basic information about their pantheon. And you're going to watch this video. This video will cover the Greek gods and goddesses, and it goes over the Trojan Aeneas and Romulus and Remus a little bit again too, but that's okay because I'm sure we don't remember everything about those. So it just kind of goes over it again because that is part of their mythology. Is their mythology on how Rome started. So that's it for today, you guys. This is a nice short lesson. So have a great day. I will see you soon. Make good choices. Bye.